Good evening. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> you're getting there. It depends, yeah, sure. on, it depends on where you're from. Uh, good <laughs> good, good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, let me introduce myself with a few words for those who do not know me yet. Uh, my name is Herwig Bauernfeind. I'm managing partner of Bitwise Works. Uh, normally, I'm a tax consultant, similar to Louis. Um, I'm Austrian. In this sense, grüß euch. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Christy, yes. uh, and my presentation is about the Virtual Fox, uh, Box 5 porting project. It was a bit difficult to get everything done, but well, everything seems to work fine. Okay, uh, the port is done by developers of Bitwise Works, and uh, important to notice, it was funded by XAU. Um, what's the status of the project? The status of the project is nearing completion. Um, nearing completion means that by and large it works already. Um, it's nice to be able to say it's fast and it's stable. However, uh, there are a few minor and not so minor features still missing. Uh, basically, the question is why virtual box on OS2? Two reasons. First of all, uh, I guess we are all here because we like to run OS2 on a bare metal. Yeah. Nothing beats that, for us at least. <laughs> and the second point is, and this one matches our philosophy at Bitwise Works. We want to enhance the number of programs we're able to run on an OS2 machine. We do that for, for Qt, we do that for Java, yeah. we try to do that and will continue to do that for SVT. And for all the stuff that doesn't run on one of these platforms, we chose virtual box. With virtual box, we have the possibility to run a modern Windows version inside our beloved OS2 and get those applications running that refuse to run otherwise. Um, Basically, there are two <coughs> different versions of VirtualBox. One is the SDL version. SDL stands for Simple Direct Layer. Um, it's a rather straightforward version. It shares all the functionality completely with the more enhanced QT version. However, the SDL version has no a uh, fancy GUI to manage all the settings. You have to use the very powerful command line interface from VirtualBox. And yes, as I've written, it has no bells and whistles. The benefit is <coughs> it has a lower memory footprint. Um, as you probably know, memory is an important issue with OS2, especially the shared memory, the lower shared memory arena. Um, the SDL version, version has a lower memory fat footprint on uh, this arena. The second version is, and that's the complete version, that's usually the version we've, all, we've seen from Windows installations, so that's the QT version. It has all the configuration options uh, placed in a powerful dialog. The dialog is rather easy to use. And everything has, placed, uh, has been placed in there. Uh, in addition, it also has a nicer GUI uh, during runtime, giving you an indication of what the guest machine is currently doing. Uh, that's uh, hard disk access, that's network, that's mouse integration, all the stuff. What is the size difference between the two versions? With, the me with, regards, to uh, with re regard to memory? Yes. Um, about 16 megabytes. 
security version is 16 megabytes. It's be 16 megabytes bigger during runtime yeah. than uh, the SDL version. So, okay. As you all know, uh, Paul's Madly some years ago did a quick port of uh, of VirtualBox 1.6, uh, but uh, it still works for sure, but it's getting old, quite simply. Uh, you can't install modern Windows versions in it. Everything beyond uh, Windows, Windows XP uh, cannot be installed. Uh, you might use VirtualBox on a Windows machine to clone, uh, cre to create a Windows 7, 8 or something guest uh, on a Windows machine and transfer that back to uh, the old VBox 1.6 on OS 2 and that works. However, you have to fiddle and find the right guest editions, historical ones, uh, which are the last ones which work, which provide which features. Um, you don't get all the features, especially, especially the shared folders uh, don't work for modern Windows versions. Uh, and all these shortcomings uh, are uh, overcome by our now new Windows porting projects. You can install uh, modern Windows in it, uh, and the bonus you're getting, the same, the same guest on the same hardware is much faster on VirtualBox 5 than it is on VirtualBox 1.6. Uh, in addition, we uh, intend to implement uh, several features that were missing on the old board, most notably the shared key keyboard. Uh, we also will uh, have the shared folders working again and in addition uh, the new VirtualBox port will be RDP manageable. So, okay, that was everything that could be said basically about the problem, uh, ab about the project. Um, I have several screenshots from the already working board. I'll come up with this. <coughs> so. The wrong button. <laughs> the wrong button, That's sure. The button the screen, ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I do this a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Difficult. Like the is, in the in the yeah. <laughs> so was one of the, the problems with the pre with this presentation as the notebook I all uh, already had everything on went broke two days ago. I simply didn't manage to <laughs> build another one in a short time. So I took this one, which is prepared to have OS two on it too, but uh, it simply it hasn't yet. What we are seeing here is uh, the configuration dialog from the VBOX 5 port. Um, you already are able to set all the settings that are applicable to a guest from this, from this dialog. Um, one thing which we currently not do uh, is the multiprocessor support for the guests. We are trying to do this, but I've been told this will not be easy to achieve. It will certainly be not within the, our first, the, the first version that we release. Another thing that's currently missing is the greater part of the network support. We have the most common used network functionality is not there yet because the NAT engine is not working. Uh, before we release the version of VBOX 5, this will be added. 
Currently, you have to dig out the old uh, TAB driver that Willy Bald Meyer wrote some years ago and go this way in order to get network support. So, also. As you can see, uh, Windows boots already to the desktop. completely possible. It's even stable. Really? <laughs> it's stable. <laughs> with <laughs> it's, it's at least not less stable than a Windows installation is on bare metal. Uh, basically I'd say it's more stable because the environment is more fixed and less exotic. It's painlessly possible to work with it. Uh, <coughs> So, oops, not this was fresh, not this was net. Well, uh, as I said, the reason... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> okay, yeah, it's running in automatic mode. That wasn't planned. <laughs> That's life. That's life. We had the demo effect sometimes before this thing. Okay. Uh, well, as I said, the reason why we need VirtualBox is because mm, some of us have to run certain Windows software on OS2, yeah. and that can't be achieved otherwise. Uh, can't be achieved otherwise. For me, that's my accounting software, which is in addition used to test the locking capabilities of our Samba port <laughs> because it's quite demanding in that area. So. That one is now the SDL version. The SDL version also works completely. You can use it for work. Uh, it's also stable. It just lacks the GUI that the Qt version has. Uh, one nice feature is that it's perfectly possible to use the old VirtualBox board and the new VirtualBox boards not, not in parallel but installed on the same machine. This is especially nice during the time we're testing because I'm able to compare the two directly. Uh, that's why I know that the VBOX 5 port is much faster than the, than the old one was. Uh, what it requires to do so is to keep the two separated. Because if you don't do that, uh, the new one will overwrite the configuration files from the old one. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> you end up that the old one's dead. In addition, uh, both VBOX boards need a driver and uh, the driver for the old one has to be patched in order to be signif significantly different. Patching the driver is especially easy because uh, you just have to patch the name of the, the internal name of the driver and the occurrence for the driver in uh, the virtual box files is just in two places and that's it. And by this way you can have them perfectly workable without having to reboot and, and reinstall. There's one second thing you have to do. You have to specify a different home environment var variable. If you do that, you can take the old configuration, copy it to a new location, let the home environment variable point to that, to that new place, and uh, do a simple uh, search and replace operation to replace the drive to reflect to the new location. Uh, in order to be able to start it, uh, I created some simple command line files that only have two lines of comma, uh, two, two lines of code. So uh, in order to run it, to run the configuration GUI, I just call VirtualBox with a, with a changed home environment variable for the SDL version. 
uh, I start the SDL executable uh, running the, um, uh, the, the guest to start uh, with command line parameters and the same may be done uh, with the uh, GUI version. Uh, to be able to run the guest separately from the um, configuration GUI is necessary at this moment because uh, there are still some uh, communication problems between the um, selector window and the guest window uh, that don't occur if you start the guest manually. Uh, by this you get the uh, GUI controls for a network, for a hard disk, etc. Uh, without having the selector pro window problems. So. Yeah, uh, one problem <coughs> that can be addressed by the infamous HiMem utility we all have for Firefox, for OpenOffice, and also uh, for VirtualBox is the shared memory address arena. Um, I built myself a, a little rex-based widget uh, that shows how much memory in this arena is at this moment free, freely available. However, the uh, problem is that this often gets too fragmented and it might not be possible to start another instance of Firefox afterwards. However, uh, the SDL version here saves more than 16 to 18 megabytes of memory, which is not a little amount considering that if you run uh, Apache OpenOffice and Firefox and VirtualBox side by side, the biggest danger you are running is, is not that the problems are unstable or that they are bad, you simply run out of shared memory. And the SDL version eases this problem a little bit. But when we release uh, uh, the final version of it, um, we will be able to have all the, the DLL libraries treated with HIMIM, so this is hopefully not going to be a problem when the version is finished. Okay, um, I think that was it. Questions? <laughs> uh, not right now. Not right now. As, is, as you can see, uh, it's, it's <laughs> like it's from most projects, it takes a little bit more time than estimated before and uh, we're not quite as ready as we should be <laughs> for all the problems we've heard before. What is the expected date that it will be complete? We have to ask Silvan that. When do we, <laughs> when, when do we expect VBOX 5 to be ready? Available. Yeah, sure. And it's quite workable, as I said. Just write here, what was it? No, write a ticket. Turn your way. This will be available to anyone when it's finished? This will be available to anyone. Okay. Even to yes. me, because it's from that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sure, it's funded. Okay. But every time they put it out, they'll say, funded by. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> sure. Well, you can't keep it confidential, because the code is under a public license. So yeah. Still, yes. uh, you never know. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I did the code. <laughs> 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 This guy's an accountant, so he should be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know the other part. Yeah. What about, what about the NAT support? When is, is this available? When it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I have to say when it's ready, sure, but uh, it's worked on.
and it's doable. <laughs> it's just work to do. It's not very difficult. Anything else? No? Then I'm finished. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>